Welcome to lesson one of the GCSE Business AQA course. Uh, this will be a, hopefully a very short um, video and the whole point and the objective of this particular video um, is to introduce you to the course, talk about the structure uh, and the content that we hopefully would like to cover and understand how you will be assessed. Um, these videos I'm planning to design and, and, and structure them as as if they are lessons that you can do from home. So if you are watching these videos and you're in my lessons, then this could be um, used in two ways. One, it would be used if you are trying to head, get ahead of the lessons uh, that we haven't even started yet. Or if uh, you missed a lesson and you wasn't in, then you can catch up on the content that we covered uh, so you're not too far behind. Uh, the other way you can use this is if you are um, wanting to revise and study and you want to go over some of the content that we've already covered uh, in previous lessons. So um, hopefully you'll get something out of this. Um, one thing I will say, uh, and I say this from, you know, time and time again in my lessons, memory is really all about repetition. The more you do something, the more your brain is engaged with it and the more and the easier it is for you to remember the content that you have to remember. Now, unlike other courses where you'll have some experience and, you know, and, and contact with since primary school, GCSE is something that's completely new. So there is a lot of content, a lot of new terminology, words, concepts you need to get used to. So it's well worth going through these in your own time as much as you can. So without further ado, let's have a look. So what are the expectations? Now in my lessons, this is what I do. So if you are not uh, as part, you know, uh, part of my lessons, my classes, then you can skip this part here and move forward. Uh, but these are this is this is just an, an allow, outline of what it is that I expect from all my lessons and how uh, we will be working. Obviously, there'll be books, uh, there'll be green pen work where you come to do self-assessment, peer assessment, um, there'll be rewards, and there's a number of things that we need to do. What I will always say is like, whenever you come to these sessions, whether you are, pro, you know, if you are learning from home, that's fantastic. That's a testament to your and a credit to who you are. It just it shows already a level of maturity and independence from you. But if you are in the lessons or if you are just starting my course, uh, just understand that when you come into the lesson with me uh, and, and you're in front of me, I'm expecting entrepreneurs. I'm expecting young businessmen and women. I'm not expecting a student as such. You have to have that mentality, that drive and that want and that willingness to, to not only learn, but to succeed. Because I truly believe this is a subject that uh, can be you know, applied to any situation as soon as you leave high school or college or wherever you might go. Uh, because eventually you'll either work for someone or I'd like to think some of you will have your own business and work for yourselves. So. How are you assessed? This assessed this 100% assessment, 100% sorry, exam-based assessment. Um, there's two equally weighted components, so it's 50% on each. Um, so two exam papers basically. Both of them will be an hour, and a, an hour and 45 minutes each, 90 marks per paper. So there's a lot to go through. Um, multiple choice, short answers, and extended response questions. So there's three sections for each uh, exam. So it goes from easy to hard. It's graded nine to one. Nine is basically equivalent to an A star. Star four is a bare minimum that you should be aiming for, which is grade uh, equal equivalent to a C. All exams are linear, meaning both will be taking place at the end of the course, which if you're in year nine, will be at the, in three years time. If you're in year 10, obviously in two years time. Specification can be found in the AQA website. Um, if you are watching this from uh, from my website, from my website, sorry, my YouTube channel, I'll try to include the link in the description uh, below. Uh, but do check that out. The specification is it should be like your Bible almost for this course because it does outline every single thing you need to know for the exam. Specification at a glance, and this is the thing I want to uh, you know really uh, focus on just for a few seconds. Component one, component two. To put simply, paper one, paper two. In component one or paper one, uh, you'll notice that business in the real world is on twice, both the components one and two. Influence on, influences on business is also on both of them. The main distinction between the two are the last two bullet points. You have um, business operations and human resources, marketing and finance. But everything else is the same. It is 50% on each, written, as I said, an hour and 45 minutes, 90 minutes. And you have section A, B and C, both the same. Section A is multiple choice, so you'll give a, give, a, 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 be given a question with 
multiple choices to pick from one will be right the rest, rest will be wrong some find that easy some find that hard i personally think that's the easiest part of the exam then you have a case study one case study data response stimuli with a range of questions uh, linked to that case study uh, which means obviously it's getting you can see from that there is a slight progression of difficulty there and then go to section c which is a case study question again data response stimuli with a range of question types including a 15 mark question drawing on the idea of the specification and throughout the course uh, i might even have a, vi a separate video or two talking about exam uh, techniques and styles and looking at how you should approach exam papers not just this particular course but in general uh, that will hopefully help you with your exam technique. So we're going too far. Five dividers, as I said. Theory. You teach projects, which we'll come to when we come to them. You'll you'll see what I mean by that. It's a research uh, activity. Uh, tests section, an exam section, and a homework section. Tests and exams are different. Tests will be the regular ones that we do every three to four lessons and the exams will be past exam papers that we'll give a go and try and uh, we put down in there and any exam techniques, uh, as I mentioned. Now, if you are in my lesson, I'm going to talk about this uh, Google, Cl Google Classroom. It's a way I um, deliver my homework activities. If you are in my classroom, um, all you got to do is go into Google Classroom. It is a free piece of app, uh, software and app that you can get on your phone, tablets, laptops, computers at home. Um, and just click on the student and plus symbol. Now, I'm not going to go any further than this because, um, you know, I'm hoping that this video will be looked at in, in, in next year, the year after that, year after that. So the codes will be different. So there's no point in me showing you the class code right now. Uh, if you are in my class, just come and see me and I'll tell you what class code you need to type in uh, for you to enroll to the correct class. Uh, but in essence, what I do is I share my homework activities on there um, and that's where you will be doing it. That's where you'll be submitting it and that's where I'll be marking it as well. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've gained an understanding of what the course is like. As I said, it's all exam based, so a lot of work to go through, a lot of note taking activities and whatnot. Uh, but as we go through getting the foundations and get the knowledge, you'll find that uh, things get more interesting, get a bit more uh, uh, fun. But like I said, we do need to get the, the content down first and go for the knowledge before we can go uh, any further.